Um, so hi, hello, welcome to another video for our elementary algebra. Um, in this video, we're going to present the order of operations. Okay, so the order of operations, or generally in our most textbooks, we call that as the GEMDAS or the PEMDAS, which means for the G, the only difference is actually the first letter. So G means grouping in the P means parenthesis. So we'll use the groupings more often. So what does this gem does mean? So G means the grouping. So meaning we will try to emphasize first the group the groupings. We'll try to 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 um, eliminate them first, and then we're going to eliminate the exponents. After that, M and D multiplication and division. Um, it doesn't mean that since M is first, it's going to be multiplication first. Um, what whatever comes from left to right first okay so from the left is first you go to the right so they, they they go hand in hand multiplication and division the same as addition and subtraction okay so i'm going to present later examples to to um, emphasize this or to illustrate this so this is a set of rules that prioritizes the sequence of operations starting from the most important to the least important so what are the steps to do? Step number one, do as much as you can to simplify everything inside the parentheses first or the groupings first. Okay, that's our number one since G or P here is the first letter, groupings or parentheses. Step number two, simplify every exponential number in the numerical expression. That's why E is the next one. Okay, E. Step number three, Multiply and divide whichever comes first from left to right. The same thing I explained a while ago, M and D um, are taken all together. And lastly, addition and subtraction is also taken together, whichever comes first from left to right. So every time you're given a long um, series of numbers with, exp with operations between them, just remember the GEMDAS rule. Okay, the GEMDAS rule. So as an example, Let's have this number one. So evaluate quantity 11 minus 5 times 2 minus 3, minus 3 plus 1. So what is our solution? Again, let's do the GEMDAS. We have clearly a parenthesis here. So let's do first what is inside the parenthesis. So we'll be removing the parenthesis first, um, following the GE, um, the groupings and exponents. Since there's no exponent, so let's make it um, together. So 11 minus... 5 is clearly going to give us 6. After that, there's no more groupings. Let's proceed to multiplication and division from left to right. Okay, so since we have only 6 times 2 as our as our multiplication or division, so 6 times 2 is clearly 12, and we will do addition and subtraction, that's AS, from left to right. So we have 12 minus 3 is going to give us 9 plus 1, 10. And that is our answer. So our answer is 10. Okay, I'll give you another example. So for this next example, so we will evaluate 3 plus 4 times 6 minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2. So let's follow the solution. Since you, it's, you can see that one can observe that there's no parenthesis here. So let's proceed to MD, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction from left to right. So, we can see here that we have a multiplication sign, a multi an, an operation which is multiplication, and an operation which is division. So, what we're going to do first is to proceed to MD. So, 4 times, tw four times 6 is going to give us 24. And then we can see here that there's a division sign here. So, 4 divided by 2, that's clearly 2. Now, we have get got rid of all the multiplication division let's do the addition and subtraction from left to right 3 plus 24 is gonna give is gonna give us 27 okay and we have minus 2 plus 2 is clearly gonna give us a 0 so 27 plus 0 is going to give us just 27 and that is now our answer to this example given Okay, um, I think this is your time now to answer this. Um, kindly pause the video if if you can answer this and get a 
a piece of paper anywhere and try to you know practice okay so can you pause the video now okay so let's show the solution so following our gemdas rule um, G means grouping and which I I will try to emphasize that the grouping which is in the innermost so we have here 10 divided by the quantity of 9 minus the quantity of 2 times 2 close quantity to close quantity so we're going to make or simplify first the innermost parenthesis so we can see that the innermost is the parenthesis here next by the um, brackets so 2 times 2 um, we can see that clearly that it's going to become 4 let's get rid of the other brackets so 9 minus 4 is 5 and then 10 divided by 5 that's gonna be clearly 2 so our answer here is 2 okay so that will be the end of this video this is just a short video so in summary in this lecture we have learned number one the order of operations of integers specifically we have the mnemonics the gemdas or the pemdas rule okay so thank you very much um don't forget to subscribe in our youtube channel and then of course kindly hit the like button okay so i'll be posting more videos soon um thank you very much for watching and see you